four things that I actually use that I picked up from you um, that I think are very valuable. When I started my swing evolution, I, I was tipped over towards the ball kind of like this, and I see that you're very centered. Try and stand up, try and stand tall. You see how nicely Rory McElroy addresses the ball? Mm -hmm. Rory McElroy stands very, very nicely to dress. Mm -hmm. posture, is, and posture is important. Mm -hmm. Not not greatly important, but it's important. Right. I've and seen people with bad postures still play well. That's this, true. This is a game of contradictions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, one of the things that I love that very few golfers do nowadays, because... Well, I know Tiger is static. He doesn't have a trigger move or a forward press. Yeah, yeah. But I loved how you would get this. Not even knowing about it. Not it, even. Not was even that aware unconscious? Yeah, I'm not even aware of it. And wow. then, you, then you take Jack Nicklaus, he stands in, he goes like this. <laughs> Sam Sneed had a big waggle. Uh huh. Hogan had a waggle. Most of the top players I ever saw in my life had a waggle. Mm -hmm. Okay? So they do something, something to break the tension, but I don't, it was Tiger, see, game of contradiction. Right. Tiger stood there and he didn't worry about, uh, I don't know what he thought about, but you don't see a noticeable move, do you? No. Some people start from a static position, but I like some kind of move a little bit. I, mm -hmm. I, I don't know, I don't put great importance on that. Mm -hmm. It's important. I don't put great importance on your posture here. What I do put, in, uh, the most important thing I put all my emphasis on, and that's rotation into the ball. Yeah, mm -hmm. rotation, yeah. So after the trigger move, it looks as if your weight goes deep into this heel. Don't even think about it. Mm -hmm. If you, see I've got a very heavy club and I swing that. And I'm not a great believer in a big hip turn. I believe in a hip turn, but not, not like this. Not right. this big term. Puts you out of position. Mm -hmm. The ideal swing, if you had to have the ideal, ideal, ideal swing, which nobody can have, and that is with no hip turn, just a shoulder turn and get it to parallel, okay? Mm -hmm. Without a hip turn. Then you'd have what they call torque. Right. Tightness. Whew, you'd never miss a fairway. Wow. But you, no human being, I've never seen one that can do that. Have no hip turn, full shoulder turn like that. Mm -hmm. And then you have the rotation. It's like an elastic band. You pull that elastic, it shoop. If the right. elastic band comes back all loose like that, there's no, mm -hmm. no spring effect. The, uh, the third thing that I've learned from you that I picked up is you were talking about this left arm across the chest. Right, right. Because that, that did wonders for keeping me yes, more consistent. Absolutely, absolutely. And that, that's one of the things that is very, very important to do. And then the fourth thing that... You know why? Uh, because it... Watch. Put the stay there. If you swing back here, mm -hmm. it can be there, 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 or there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what chance do you have under pressure? But if you put it there to start with, it's the same every time. Right. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Great sense. Right. Now you go back. There we are. Now you're on a plane. See? Now you're on a plane. Mm -hmm. And everybody has a different plane. A man like Justin, Justin has yeah. a long, 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 high upright swing because mm -hmm. he's a tall guy. Right. A short little fat guy is going to be flatter. So, but you want to feel as you want to feel as though your swing. I listened on the uh, one of the networks the other day. Said how you got to have swing the club upright. Worst thing I think you can do. All the great players I've seen have been. On a, on a slightly flatter plane. If you want to last a long time, Aura Palmer was on a flat plane. Uh, Lee Trevino was on a flat plane. Um, Charlie Sifford. Charlie Sifford did that well, but uh, Ben Hogan was the best flat plane. Yes. Um, all these guys, but it's all, it depends on your height. If you're tall, your swing's going to be more upright. Sure. But you sure, and Trevino's the only great player I've seen. And he's a superstar. That took the club outside the line. But he still came And then in. he came down, he dropped down with his right shoulder and he cleared his left hip and he had flatness through the ball. Mm. So I can tell you the different things that all these players did. Right, right. And but then Hogan, Hogan had the perfect, perfect shit. He was on a flat plane and he rotated 
and had extension through the ball. Mm -hmm. Extension through the ball is essential. I've heard you talk about the hands up here. That Hogan did that better. I, I want to just show you Hogan. Yes, sir. I want to show you Hogan's swing. It was so fantastic. He was there. He was on a flatter plane there, okay? Now, from there, he rotated and the club dropped to the inside, which yes. it must do. And then he stayed on line when he hit the ball, stayed on line. This crap pulling the club across you will send you to your grave. So he took it back on a flat plane, rotated, dropped the club to the inside, contrary to what a lot of people like. That makes you stay, feel as though you're hitting the inside of the ball. Right. And you stay on line and line on the flatness. And Hogan, this was Hogan. Watch Hogan, watch, watch. See that? There, see that? Yep. This carb, this nonsense, this. There, take you, eventually I, it'll take you to your grave. They're I think saying, you get a, get a tree maybe. When you, when you see Mr. Hogan down the line, yeah. you see that, his, that the momentum, he's not trying to no, do a bit, a, yeah. the, the turn. Good point. It's, it's a very deceptive thing. Mm -hmm. You stand behind, it looks like you're doing this. But Hogan went there, online, and then got there. But it's so quick. It's so quick. But he had better extension by a mile than anybody that ever played golf. By a mile. The, it, it seems Nicholas to me... Nicholas had great extension. The, I, I've noticed that, especially in the 60s. And I think their pivot, the way you do the walk through and get yeah. through it, the pivot is so strong, it's throwing... The, it seems the momentum I'm is I'm going to show you something on camera that people will never forget as long as they live. Come here, my man. Look at this man. Look at his legs. He could kickstart a Boeing. Yes. Hold his camera. Get this on film. Stand here for me. Now watch this. Look how strong this man. Look at his legs. He was my size when he was six. Now, I want you to stand and not... Don't let me push you over. Come on, stand. All right, are you ready? Now watch. If I hang back, see? Can't push him over. If I move my weight... Can you believe that? I'm 85. Right. You see how strong he stood? Yes. Now, if I hung back, when I pushed, I hung back, I couldn't move him. Indeed. You see, if that doesn't tell you about getting the weight across, then I don't know what does. You see, I like to teach and prove it to somebody, not do a lot of talk to the pro and a lot of talk to the guy and brainwash him and bulldog him and make him think that he's doing, saying everything right. I, when I want to have a lesson. I want some guy to prove it to me. Right, well, you just... You see what I did there? Yeah. Come over here again. Stand here. Stand like you stood for me. Come, you push it. Come, yep. come. Okay. <laughs> I don't know it's got so much stuff. Put your hand on his chest. Okay. See that? Mm-hmm. You can't... Now, come again. Stand strong. Now, you stand back and push. <laughs> There's nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Yeah. So if that doesn't prove it for your viewers, then I don't know. But everybody sir, I see, I this, is, this is the typical weekend golfer. Whoop. Yes, sir. And then when the ball's gone. Mm-hmm. Yep. The, a, a lot of people on tour, or these teachers are talking about that there's no weight shift, that you stay perfectly centered, but I, I don't understand how. You know, you've got to be careful that you don't get paralysis of analysis. Yes, sir. And another thing is, if you're teaching somebody, for me, it would drive me crazy to have a guy standing behind me teaching me all day. Because he's got to keep finding things. Otherwise, if he keeps saying there's nothing wrong, you won't hire him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like a doctor. It's like a doctor. It's exactly... <laughs> It's exactly like a He's doctor. gonna go broke. Man, I love I loved what I loved what Hogan and Trevino said. They both asked him at a different time, who's your coach? He says, when I find somebody that can beat me, I'll have a lesson from him. <laughs> well there you go. Well cool. But I all I can tell you, if you can learn, if you can learn, look, I like a I like a backswing on a plane, okay? But even if you take it there, inside, out there, short, long, mm -hmm. whatever you do, if you rotate, you can get away with murder. Mm -hmm. But I would like to say this, that what people should practice, stand there a minute, get that shoulder turn as you just did there. Now turn your shoulder on the back swing. Hold it. That's what you, that's, that's what Sam Snead did. Ernie Else did that very well. And uh, what you call it, Sam Snead did that the best. Mm -hmm. Sam Snead is the greatest athlete that ever played golf. 
was the most supple of any man that ever played golf and may be, may be the best player that ever lived. Was he a big guy? Pretty big. Wow. So he had the whole package. Strong as a lion. Wow, I, I saw he could kick the ceiling. Always kick, no, always the door. Mm. He'd walk in the club and they'd say, kick the door, Sam. Pow! And he'd put up <laughs> and kick the door. Now, I, watch, I can get, even it's in the morning, it's in the morning, I can get above your height, watch. Wow. You see that? I wouldn't want to get in the ring with you back in the oh, day. Let's see. All right, so this is what I've concocted through the years. And, you know, I'm, I set out originally to just be able to get the ball around the course a little bit. But now that I'm a little better, everybody wants to keep getting better, yeah, right? Yeah, of course, of course. So. Now, let's see a practice here. Let me see your grip. Okay. Tell me, you ready? All right, now your grip is excellent, okay? Your stance is... You should turn hold it, that just out of it, turn it in a bit. Oh. Just that. Now it's straight. See? Now it's straight. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to go back and feel tighter on your backswing. Go back, feel. You feel that? <laughs> your knee, yeah. you feel that? Yeah, but at least my knee isn't going. Right. That, that's for rocking on a boat. Goodness. So you All just right. keep it tight. Now, turn that shoulder when you go back. Get that shoulder turned. There's a backswing. There's a backswing. Now rotate. Go on, go on, go on, go on. A follow through is natural. If you rotate, you have to follow through. Mm -hmm. Have to. Because this here is 50 times stronger than that. Right. I couldn't push that man over with my arms only. I had to do it with... Yeah, exactly. Where's the strongest muscle in your body? Look at this little puny thing as compared to this. Mm -hmm. This is 50 times stronger than that, man. Right. This is, you could have this strong when you play golf. It's gonna be, that's right, there we are. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I gotta start doing 1,300 <laughs> sit-ups a day though. Right, there you okay. go. Yeah. This foot in. Right, turn that shoulder, the arm across your chest and then rip it. Okay, here goes nothing. Yeah. Ooh, I love your swing. <laughs> the, jack ball went, the jack ball never hit a tree. I didn't hear it hit anything. Can you? So They're they, ninety percent. So, so you've got to do what Arnold says. <laughs> if there's a little gap, you go for it. <laughs> Arnold lost a lot of tournaments by going through those gaps, but he lost a lot too. Oh my gosh! I, the thing did never hit a tree. Can you imagine that? <laughs> did you notice that? <laughs> I'll go and find that ball another oh six months later. Well, thank you, Mr. Player. Guys, I've created the biggest controversy in modern golf by insisting. Swinging over the top is the best way to swing a golf club. Bobby Jones, Sam Snead, and Arnold Palmer all swung over the top. So I want to send you three free lesson videos that will teach you the over the top miracle swing that I teach my students. I shot a 72 with Balboa. It feels like you can't miss.